have a box of monarch caterpillars and monarch pupae and a few of that stage in between. Let's have a closer look. Here is a group of monarch caterpillars doing what they do best, which is eating. From the moment they hatch as tiny white caterpillars from a small football shaped egg to the time that they're this size, pretty much all they do is eat. And from the looks of some of these leaves, you can see that very little goes to waste. So here are some caterpillars that are one day old. And as you can see, they are now about the size of the entire date on the Lincoln Penny. And they have their typical monarch colors, the black and yellow and white stripes. They just hatched yesterday. And over here, we have some monarchs that are four days old. Not that one, he's one day old. Here's another four day old monarch. You can see that they've grown quite a bit in just four days. Over here is one that's five days old and he's even bigger. And going back over here, we've got one that's eight days old. He hatched just a little bit more than one week ago and look how big he is. And over here, Finally, we have one that is nine days old. Nine days old. And he is probably about ready to pupate in the next day or so. Just nine days. We go from newly hatched to that, to all the various instars, to that. So once a monarch caterpillar feels he's eaten enough, he will migrate to the top of whatever enclosure he's in. And start spinning a silk pad. He spins the silk pad with his mouth. And when he feels it's good and ready, he moves his rear end into it and sticks. Here's a close-up of one of the silk pads. And when he feels he's secure, he will let go with his legs. And he will hang just like that. He jays. And for the next 12 hours or so, he will hang just like that. Now this monarch caterpillar jade about 12 hours ago. And ever since, he's been slowly fading in his color and his antenna have become quite limp. And those limp antenna are one of the signs that he is going to pupate very soon. is about to start to pupate. 
So let's go down and have a look at the top of the cake. Now the skin on his head has just split open. And that skin will split all the way down his body to his tail and make its way up to his tail because remember he's hanging from his tail and his head is down. of what was once the caterpillar is now just sort of making its way up to the top accordion style and underneath we see the bright green of the monarch pupa. Now we can see him doing kind of a little dance. He does this little dance for two reasons. Number one, he has to get that skin off of the top because otherwise it will stick to him. And that skin is no longer useful to the pupa. And the second thing he's doing is he's jabbing a little part of his body firmly into that silk pad that he spun for himself and by which he was hanging as a caterpillar He's really jamming that little stick called a cremaster into that silk pad. And there you can see he has his skin down. And he's done. And now you can see the cremaster quite clearly. Under a microscope, that cremaster actually looks a lot like Velcro, the hook side of Velcro. And the silk pad, a lot like the loop side of Velcro. And there he is. Over the next few hours, the outer part of that chrysalis will harden and become much more familiar looking. It will go from looking like that to looking like that. The beautiful jade green monarch chrysalis with the gold dots.